Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.7.1, Connecting the Physical Layer. This Packet Tracer Assignment is part of the CCNA Version 7 Introduction to Networks Cisco Networking Academy curriculum. So in our, our Packet Tracer here, we've got our directions to the left and our topology over here to the right. In Packet Tracer, we've got a lot of different devices here uh, to connect together and to um, see about managing right so it says we should click on the east router click the physical tab should be active so let's find the east router and we're going to click on the physical tab right here and click zoom in this is the back of a real device right a real is exactly what it looks like you can add in different ports here and so on so it asks us to zoom in to see that um and then it asks you to it says which LAN and WAN interfaces are available. If you do the show IP interface brief on this device, so let's click enter here, enable, and then show IP interface brief. All right, you can see here what actual ports we have G00, G01, which are gigabit Ethernet ports that operate at 1000 megabits per second, like a regular Ethernet port, and then serial 000 and serial 001 that other routers could connect to via a serial cable, and then you've got VLAN 1, which is a virtual uh, interface. Okay, so um, they ask you to look at the bandwidth for both of those, all right, and then we want to start adding in ports here. So it says how many expansion slots are available. So if you go back to the physical part, you see here that you've got one uncovered and one covered, and then you've got your serial ports here, if you can see that, and then you've got like your auxiliary port, a console port, your gigabit uh, zero 01 and gigabit zero 00. So you might have to zoom in really far to be able to see that. Let me see if I can magnify the screen a little bit here. There we go. You can see G00, G01, auxiliary console, serial, serial. And then these two are our ports that are our expansion slots that we could put stuff in, like if you're building a computer. OK, um, so if you try to put one in there, it's going to say can't add a module when you drag it from, let's say, here to here because it's powered on. You can't do that when a device is powered on, just like in real life. So we want to click this power button to turn it off and you see it will turn from green to just uh, basically no color, right? Um, so we are going to turn that off and then it wants you to, um, the device should be turned off, insert the appropriate module from step 1A. When done, click the power uh, to basically boot that up, all right? So it says for connectivity, we want to be able to connect PCs 1, 2, and 3 to the East router, but you don't have enough necessary funds to purchase a new switch. Which module can you add to the three PCs to the, uh, be able to connect to the East router? All right, so uh, it says click switch 2. Which module can you insert the gigabit optical connection to switch 3? All right, look at how many expansion slots are available on switch 2. So if we go to switch to, we can look at the back here. All right, we've got these ports. That's obviously a fiber connection right there. That's a fiber um, 100 base connection. You've got gigabit port there, fast ethernets there. All right, console auxiliary port. Okay, so let's add some of these um, modules here. All right, so add the correct modules uh, from step 1A, so that's right here, all right, so to connect those three PCs. When done, it says click the power uh, switch to power up the east router. If you insert the wrong module, you need to remove it, power it off, drag it away, drag a new one in there. Okay, so we are going to click back on the east router and look at the descriptions here. So this one, it says is a um, single form factor plug-in slot for gigabit ethernet connections. All right, this one offers serial ports, serial high speed ports. This one is for switching ports. All right, so if we can't afford a switch, that sounds like it. All right, this one adds an asynchronous uh, Eight asynchronous devices for console ports. No, that's just a blank cover, like a dust cover. Um, and then this one says gigabit ports for smart grid uh, and industrial Ethernet and routers. So that's a no. So 
if I had to say which one we need to do is this one, switching port. So now this off, we can put it right there. All right. So we can connect these devices and then power it back on. OK, the next thing we want to do is connect them and see if it works. Well, actually, let's wait. Um, it says now we want to uh, use the show IP interface brief command on switch two to identify the slot in which the module was placed. So we need to identify on one B. All right. How many hosts can you connect to the router using this module? Um, so we want to put something in switch two to the farthest right. All right. So switch to. And we are going to zoom in and we are going to power this off and we can put it uh, in the blank one there. All right. So. That's an Ethernet port. And I think it wanted us to use like a fiber optic connection, gigabit optical connection. So gigabit optical connection. That's a gigabit network module, gigabit optical. So this one right here, the one FGE. So we're going to put it there and turn this switch back on. All right. So now we're going to connect the devices. So this is kind of a little chart here of how we want to connect. So let me zoom out again. All right, so we want to connect the G00 of ETH to the for using a copper straight through to switch one's G01. So we're going to do G00 from East G00 to switch one. And we're going to do G01. Then we're going to use another copper straight through from East G01 to switch four G01. Okay. Then we're going to use a copper straight through from the fast ethernet 010, the port are important here to PC one fast ethernet zero copper straight through from PC two. doesn't matter which end you do first, um, but just make sure you connect it into the correct port 011 PC three to F012, all right, and then switch one, F01 to PC4, using a copper straight through, so from switch one, uh, F01 to PC4's fast ethernet, uh, switch one, F02 to PC5, fast ethernet, switch one, FA03 to PC6, fast ethernet all right then we're going to use a copper crossover this is dotted one from switch four and g02 to switch threes gigabit ethernet three one the naming really is kind of random depending on which port you plug it into, like the um, module. So sometimes you plug it into a different module on the switch or on the router, like the actual ports themselves. If they're not built in, just like we did with the East router and that other switch, then it'll sometimes name them stuff different. So we don't get to control what it names it, but um, we do want to keep up with it. So then we do a fiber connection from switch threes. Uh, gigabit 5.1 that will be 5.1 if you placed it in the correct slot like we did and then you want to connect that to switch 2's gigabit ethernet 5.1 then we're going to do a copper straight through from switch 2's FA01 or F01 uh, to PC7 fast ethernet 0 then we want to do a again switch 2 Fast Ethernet 1 1 to PC 8, Fast Ethernet 0. Then we want to do switch 2, Fast Ethernet 2 1 to PC 9, Fast Ethernet 0. Okay, then we're here, switch 2, copper straight through, Gigabit Ethernet 3 1 to the access points. So that's giving it internet connectivity to port 0. And then lastly, we're going to use a serial. We can use a serial DCE. Again, we'll talk about DCE versus DTE in a later chapter. All right. Um, but we're going to do the serial DCE as the um, 
cable type that says from east zero, serial zero, zero, zero to west over here, that connects wide area networks together, usually router to router, far distance to serial zero, zero, zero. And you see we're at 100%. So again, make sure when you look at the back of this device that you drag your module here, the correct one for the four switching ports. You got to turn it off first. Don't remove this one and put it there. Then turn it back on after. And then for switch three, when you put the uh, correct one, the, FGA, the FGE, which is a gigabit Ethernet fiber connection, you need to put it in the one that was open here as well. Make sure you turn it off and on to put it in. Turn it off, put it on, after you put it in, turn it back on. All right, that gets us to 100%, and we've got our whole network here, cable, local area networks, and wide area networks.